Here we have a model-based definition for a shaft with a conical taper. And I'm going to talk about the different ways that we might tolerance this conical portion of, the, of this part. I have two datums set up. Uh, datum A is this cylinder going through the part, and datum B is this face. So the simplest way to tolerance this is to apply a surface profile. So you have a surface profile, some tolerance band that you want that part to lie within. And without a datum reference, that cone can be in any orientation with respect to the shaft. Um, it can be in any displacement with respect to the shaft, so it's not centered. The only thing that's really being controlled on it is, is that round within this tolerance and is the cone angle correct? So by making that with respect to A, we've now, in a sense, controlled its orientation as well. It needs to have an orientation with respect to A, but it can still, in a sense, move up and down A and sort of lock that degree of freedom. I choose datum B. And the final thing to do is to choose a location for the callout, and we're done. So that will control that cone. But there's a new way of doing things that's come out in Y14.5 2009. And that is to use the concept of a maximum material condition principle uh, with a profile control instead of a, a diameter callout. So you think of it as a generalized diameter. Instead of having a cylinder with a diameter to which we attach position, we have some arbitrary shape the size of which is controlled with a profile callout, and then the position is applied to that sort of arbitrary size control. And this can be done in SolidWorks. I'm going to delete this cone feature to start over. And the approach is the same. We want to tolerance this cone, and we're going to use the geometric tolerance tool here and choose a profile with no datum. And on the second tier, we're going to choose a position. And we can give it a value that's smaller than the, the profile value. And we can say uh, maximum material condition um, per Y14.5. Now, SolidWorks it does get cranky about that and put up a, a warning. And then to control that position, we give it a datum reference frame. And finally, we choose a location, and we have something that looks a lot like the Y14.5 example. What's missing is the all-around symbol. And if you look at the property page, you can choose modifiers for the leader, the all-around or the all-over. So we'll choose all-around. And there we have a, a callout that matches the Y14.5 case. But SolidWorks is unhappy that we applied the maximum material condition to this position. And the third way that I want to show you to do this is sort of an old fashioned way, I suppose, in some sense. And that is to measure this cone as two circles at two basic offsets from some reference. And I want that reference to be this flat plane. And so to start, I'm going to insert a reference plane and give it an offset. And I want it to go the opposite direction that it's trying to go. And there's a reference plane location. And I'm happy. There's my first reference plane. And I'm going to repeat that process, inserting reference geometry plane. This is with respect to plane one, and I give it my offset of 60, and I want it to go in the other direction, and I'm happy with that. Now, to indicate these offsets, I'm going to put in um, basic location dimension. So there's the 20 between my face and my reference plane, and then I'm going to repeat that process between my two reference planes, and there's my 60 offset.
I'm going to hit the escape key to get out of the basic dimension mode. And now I want to put a size tolerance on here. I want to tolerance the diameter of this cone at these two sections. And so I have the cone selected and I choose size dimension and it defaults to a cone angle but there's this tool here for intersect circle and it's got face one which is my cone face selected and I select my reference plane and I'm happy with that selection and I get this intersect circle to which is applied a diameter tolerance and while that diameter tolerance remains selected I can put a geometric tolerance on and I can put a position on and it can be diametrical it can be at maximum material condition and with respect to the datum reference frame now again SolidWorks is a bit cranky about this MMC I'm not sure why because we do have a di uh, diameter tolerance in place with a plus or minus tolerance so we end up with this call out I'm just going to drag it over to this side of the part and so there is that reference circle with a diameter and true position with bonus with respect to this axis and offset from this plane. I'm just going to go through that process again for the second section to show you again how it's done. Start with the cone. We want to put a size dimension on the cone. Use the intersect circle tool. Select the reference plane verify and accept our selections. Place the diameter tolerance while it's still selected. Apply a geometric tolerance. Position diametrical at maximum material condition with respect to our datum reference frame and hit OK. So there are three ways to tolerance a conical face in a model based definition. One is using a simple surface profile back to a datum structure to control it fully. The second was to use the profile to simply control the shape of the feature and a position callout to control its uh, orientation and location. And the third one was instead of using the full 3D feature was to cut two 2D circle sections and tolerance those individually.